I am the man in the mirror. I am here and I am now and I can't escape it. No matter how far you go, there you are. Can't escape yourself. And there's also one other thing that we can't ever get away from. And it's this indwelling presence of love, essentially. This high point, this Godhead within, this Christ, this I am presence, the individuated spark of divinity that lives within each of us. Can't ever get away from it. No more than you can get away from the body and the personality that I know myself to be, that you know yourself to be, or life itself. It's always there as ever present. And we've been talking a lot um, about becoming a son and the one law. And a son is also that inner presence of divinity. It is the embodiment of love. And I love this analogy of becoming a son. It's so good because we are, each one of us, in this process of knowing ourselves as that high presence of being, as that, that love, more so than the outer individual personality, the man in the mirror. And then we have that other space that's secure and eternal, where all things are born of love. And we have this process of creation that we've defined as radiation, response, attraction, union, and unified radiation. And where we want to be really is at the end of that process, right? The unified radiation, radiating in unified measure with that highest place within each of us. And yet, as I'm a creator, I'm also creating in conjunction with life itself. Life itself has this entire process. It's, it's working with me. It's actually also in response to me for what it is that I'm radiating out. And what I'm radiating out is, in a large part, also defined by what it is that I'm responding to. See, the first two steps are where I believe we have our most power. It's where we have choice. Life will take care of all kinds of things. But how am I being in a moment? What is the energy that's emanating from me? What am I radiating out to my world? Is my question, and what am I responding to that's in my world or in myself? But what it takes really is a desire, a wanting of it, and a commitment to staying in that space of being aware and conscious of what I'm responding to, what I'm choosing to see, and what type of energy that I'm bringing into my world. How am I radiating? What am I radiating? And then when magic happens, forms will show up. Beautiful, amazing things and opportunities and people and forms. That's all part of the process, and it's beautiful. And I don't want to let that take my attention away from being in that flow of focusing on what I'm responding to and what I'm radiating. Because as soon as I get lost in the forms, I could get attached to them, start investing all into that and forget about what it is that got me to that place. So I go back to the beginning. What do I want to give to my world? What energy am I holding in me that I'm expressing? Is it of the love? And that most important relationship within, I want to respond to that. I want to express from there. And I want to see us all do it. It's, it's our destiny, really. It's what's happening. 